welcome to my channel. Welcome to another video. So today we're going to be going over my February empties. I have a lot to go through here. So if you're only interested in one or two categories like skincare or makeup, fragrance, I will have chapters down below. And if you're interested on the makeup that I'm wearing today, I am doing a foundation wear test currently. When that video goes live, it will be listed up above in the eye. So without any further ado, actually, before we get started, please make sure you tell your dog I said hi. We're super casual today. And now that we've gotten through all of that, let's get started on my February empties. Let's start with hair care since I have the least amount of those products. So the first thing that I have is the Brio Geo Be Gentle, Be Kind Avocado and Kiwi Mega Moisture Superfood Mask. It's just a small one like this. I don't think this is the full size. It's, it's two fluid ounces. So normally I use the Olaplex products, the shampoo and the conditioner. My conditioner was getting a little bit lower than the shampoo, which typically happens. So I brought in this conditioner to hopefully try and even them out. I did really like this. I can't say that it did anything that was more special than my Olaplex, so I'll just be sticking with that. But this was a really nice conditioner and it smelled good. The second thing that I have is from Nature Lab. So it's this Perfect Shine Clarifying Scalp Scrub. This was the first scalp scrub I've ever tried. This is also just a small size. It's one fluid ounce. And I was pleasantly surprised. I've always just wondered how <laughs> scalp scrubs work. I don't know if I'm the only one because how do you only get the product on your scalp? I, I guess I just, I didn't understand. I still kind of don't understand, but okay. I mean, I use this in place of shampoo. This had a very, this was basically, it felt like coconut oil with little exfoliating beads in it. So the texture was really nice. This foamed like crazy. I don't know if I'm just not used to it. Again, I use the Olaplex products and those don't foam quite as much. This just was boom foam. So I did like this. I switched it up. I used it maybe once a week just because I, I don't wash my hair that often. So once a week to just get product buildup out and it was nice. I would actually, I plan on repurchasing this again. I liked it a lot. Okay, let's get body care out of the way so we can jump into the exciting stuff of makeup and skincare. The first one that I have, no surprise to anyone, is the KB Shimmer Sugar Scrub. I use one of these every month. This was the Scent Cafe Latte, and I've used quite a bit of these, right? This is a great sugar scrub. It holds up really well. It leaves your skin nice and moisturized afterwards. However, the Smell Cafe Latte, I thought I was going to love this. It's supposed to smell like a vanilla latte and I don't want to be mean, but this smells like puppy breath to me. That's the best thing I can say. Every time I took a shower, I was like, what does this smell like? It just smells, it doesn't smell bad. It just smells weird. And I finally was able to hone it down. It smells like puppy breath. And I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. This does not smell like coffee to me. That's what it smells like. Love this scrub. I will continue to use it, continue to repurchase them. But the Scent Cafe Latte, if I were you, I would maybe, it wouldn't be my first choice unless you're, you're really, really into that. So this wouldn't be an empties video if I didn't have these. Of course, I have the Bees Knees Lacquer Meringue. So they're a, it's like a soap in a tub meringue. I've explained this before is the perfect name for it. It has a very buttercream frosting texture. It foams up great in the shower. I really like them. I like supporting smaller brands. So this is just the soap that I use. They, I do go through two a month. They approximately last me two weeks. This could absolutely last you longer, but I have like 15 of these and I'm just trying to get through them. So I'm not necessarily cautious when using them. I really just lather up. So I have the scent Forever and Always. I, I liked this one a lot. It was very fresh laundry scent. I'm not, I don't know if that's the official description on the website. I'm just telling you what it smells like to me. So it just, yeah, it's very fresh, leaning on kind of being that stereotypical manly scent. So a little bit musky. I actually repurchased this scent because I liked it that much. 
The next scent was Fallon and this one was a lot more fruity. This one was okay. I do like fruity scents. I just prefer the Forever and Always over this one. This one wasn't bad. I liked it. Just Forever and Always was a little bit more of a scent that I preferred. Then the last thing for body care is all of these little cuticle balms. I think they call them cuticle butters. So I just, I had like a third left in each of these. So I just finished them off so I could get through them. I, these are also from Bees Knees Lacquer. Their cuticle butter is my favorite thing after their polish. It is top notch. I love it. It's very thick. You can put it on your hands and it doesn't get greasy. It soaks in really well and is ultra hydrating. Highly, highly recommend the cuticle butters from them. So I have, which better have my candy? So this, this clearly like a very sweet smelling scent. It was okay. It wasn't my favorite, but I did like it. I also had, we always have, oh, no, I thought this was, we always have Paris. This is just Paris. This I thought I was going to really like because it was Paris and I'm French. I like French things, but this is straight up floral. I mean, it, if you get headaches from scents, you probably won't like this one. It is that powdery rose floral scent. Every time I put it on, my boyfriend would get upset, tell me to stop using it, but I had to get through it. So I got through it and I would probably say this is my least favorite scent from Bees Knees Lacquer that I've ever tried. It just is very, very potent. The last one I have is We All Float. So this was off of their, their It collection. I was like, what is that? And I really, really like this one. This is actually my second one. And I even have another one that just arrived today. I don't know what this smells like, but it smells good. <laughs> um, I will look up the official description of this scent and pop it up because I can't explain what this smells like, but I really, really enjoyed it. I've purchased it three times. This is one of my favorite scents from them. Okay, there is a lot of skincare, so I think we'll do makeup first. I don't have too many makeup products, I never do, but I do have the Morphe Continuous Setting Mist. So if you saw my Shop My Stash, I did finish this up. I will also link that video above. I think it was my first one, maybe my second one, I'm not sure. I'll link the video reviewing this up above, so I'm not gonna say too much about it. It really is my favorite setting spray. After that, we have two mascaras. So this is the Wet n Wild Mega Slim Skinny Mascara. I use this for my bottom lashes, so it lasts me forever. The wand is just very, very small, which is what I like about it for my small lashes can't see very well. So a thin, thin wand like this really helps. The only downside is because you're only doing bottom lashes, it takes forever to get through this. The second mascara is the Stila Huge. So the wand looks like this. I hear a lot of people talking about this mascara, but then I don't see it talked about again afterwards. I love this mascara. I this is my second tube of this. It just really separates and lengthens your lashes. I am not someone, I don't go crazy with mascara. I mean, you can see, I just, I don't really like that heavy, heavy mascara look. It's just, it's not for me. I just feel like when I pile on mascara, it looks too clumpy and clumpy mascara is just, I absolutely cannot do. I would rather have it look like I'm wearing less, which I do. So this separates really nice, but coats them and doesn't make them clumpy. That's what I like about this. I don't think that I'll repurchase it just because I'm trying to get through other mascaras here. However, once I do, this is absolutely one that I would keep in rotation just permanently. I love this. And the last makeup product I have is the Glossier Boy Brow. I don't know if these come in shades or not, but this is a brown color. It really just, it's completely dead. But I really liked this brow gel. I can't say that I'm that great with my brows, so maybe there are better gels out there, but I feel like it held up pretty well. I mean, it's nothing really special. I probably still prefer the Benefit Gimme Brow, but 
this was nice if you probably just have really nice brows and just wanted like a tinted gel to put it through this is probably the product for you because as far as hold time i can't really speak on that i wouldn't say it has a fantastic hold time this is just something i think that you would use if you just wanted to enhance your natural brows but you already have like good brows okay let's jump into skincare we are making good progress i feel like so let's get through all these little things here i spoke about this before this is the happy mask the rejuvenating uh, i picked this up in hong kong when i went you can see like the little lettering here i think this is korean i think it's korean skincare however i picked it up in hong kong as kind of my little souvenir i'm trying to get through them just because i've been hoarding them and not using them because they were my little souvenir and that's silly so i used up another one of these i used the what is this? This is the Zit Sticka Press Refresh Hydrogel Exfoliating Sheet Mask. I don't even remember my thoughts on this, so clearly it wasn't anything to write home about. This was the first mask that I've used, at least that I remember, that had like two pieces. So it had like the top piece and the bottom piece. I much prefer that. It was way nicer to stay on my face. It just stayed on so much better. That's the only thing I have to say about it that I remembered. And then the last two is the Lancome Advanced Genifique Hydrogel Melting Mask. So I have two of those. This was really nice because like it says hydrogel, the mask felt like one of those under eye patches that you put on where it was just very jelly rather than a sheet or cotton mask. I know some people don't like the texture of cotton. So if you don't, if you're one of those people that it just weirds you out, sometimes it weirds me out like when it makes that noise, you know, that gives me like nails on chalkboard vibes. But these are not like that. These were very nice. Okay, let's do skincare. There's quite a bit. I've separated it by category. So first thing I have is this Urban Skin RX Even Tone Cleansing Bar 3-in-1 Treatment. So it had, it was a cleansing bar. So it kind of filled this tub in here and then it had a sponge on top. I really, really liked this. I kept this in my shower. So I did like this. The only thing about this is it is geared more towards melanin skin, which clearly I do not have. So I can't speak on that because that is what they're advertised towards. I got this as a little sample size. So for the intended demographic, I do not fit. However, I did like this. I thought it was really nice. I like just the way that it the way that the product is, I like the bar with the sponge. I think in the shower, it's really great. The only thing was once I had like about three uses left of it, it kind of got like a little bit goopy just from all the water sitting in. You know, I try to wring out the sponge really good every time, but just by the end of it, it was a little bit, you could tell, ready to go. That was the only cleanser that I had. It took it, that, I mean, that was another pro of it. It lasted quite a bit of time, especially for being a small size. Next, let's do these two. So I have the Pharmacy Green Clean Cleansing Balm and then the, this is another cleansing balm, Moringa, M-O-R-I-N-G-A Cleansing Balm. I don't know how to say that. Both of these were fine. I do prefer the Pharmacy. I have a few of these little small sample ones. I did, I'm on my last little sample one, so I did order the full size of the Good Molecules. I'm gonna test that one out just see how that one does. This one is more emollient, it's more oily. So if you prefer a cleansing balm like that, you would like this one. This one just holds its shape more. So I don't know if that makes sense, but when you dip your fingers into this one, it's almost like a lotion. So it really doesn't, it kind of just goes everywhere. And that's why I like this one more. It's a little bit more, I don't wanna say waxy, but in the container, it has more of a waxy hold. So it's a little bit more stiffer. And for that, I would probably repurchase the pharmacy. I just wanted to make a purchase on Beautylish. So I figured I'd test out the good molecule ones. We will see how that one works. 
I have a few masks here. Like I said, everything that was kind of running low, I just try to use up so I would have less things and I could more focus on things that were a little bit fuller. So this is the Plein Air 3-in-1 Exfoliating Clay Mask. This is, I believe, the full size. It's one ounce. I bought this because it was purple, quite honestly, and I wanted an exfoliating mask. This is a mask cleanser, so you put it on, you let it sit, and then you use the beads to kind of exfoliate and cleanse. I like this. It wasn't my favorite. I wouldn't say that this stands out anything better. If you wanted a clay mask or even a charcoal mask, I think there are better ones out there and exfoliating. This just wasn't, this was very mild, I guess you could say. So if you have very sensitive skin or you're not looking for anything very harsh, this was great. I bought this on Beautylish. The other two masks I have, so I have the Dr. Brandt Pores No More Vacuum Cleaner. This was a pore purifying mask. This is white and then it has like blue little beads that pop. This leaves your skin feeling very tingly, very fresh, like that minty fresh, put in like a breath mint, that kind of feeling on your face. I did like this and I would probably repurchase it. Just it's not on the top of my list where I have to have to have it in my skincare routine. But this was nice and I do like the tingly. This is kind of something I've never tried anything like it and I do think it works really well to clear out your pores. The last mask that I have is this Glam Glow Thirsty Mud Hydrating Treatment. So this isn't the Glam Glow mask that, you know, they're very famous for. I believe I got like a trio during holiday with the different masks to just try and see how much, which one I liked the most. I didn't like this. I don't think it did anything. It wants to be a hydrating mask, but it still kind of has like that clay-like consistency. So for the, that reason, it's just not my favorite hydrating mask. I really like the Peter Thomas Roth Rose Stem Mask. I think that one's a great one. There are other hydrating masks that I think just do such a better job other than this one. A little random one that doesn't necessarily have a place is this Derma E Vitamin C Bright Eyes Hydro Gel Eye Patches. So I went through a full tub of these. I really try to use eye patches every day. I can't say I do every day, but not nine, eight, eight times out of 10, I do. And I really like these ones. I talked about in my last empties that I had the Patchology ones and I just did not like those ones. They slid down my face. These ones stay on fairly decently. I can wear my glasses on top of them, which is a must because if they're sliding, I just can't wear my glasses and that's what drives me crazy. I would definitely repurchase these again. However, I have like five tubs of eye masks that I need to get through beforehand. As far as the brightening, I wouldn't say I noticed anything special with that. I still have dark circles. I still... You know, it may be depuffed a lot when I'm tired. The first thing that gets puffy for me is my eyes. You can always tell in my eyes, I get more of a hooded eye and it just looks more, more inflamed. That's, unfortunately, that's where it shows when I don't get sleep. So I really try to focus on my eyes and yeah, I can't say that this brightened or got rid of my dark circles, but it was nice. I have three little serums here. I know that all these aren't full size, so I'm not trying to impress anyone with the amount of empties I have. Just I'm trying to get through all my little things first before I get through my big things. So I got this little free sample when I ordered the Chanel foundation. This is the number one to Chanel revitalizing cream. I didn't use this as a moisturizer. I use this kind of as an in-between just because it's not very clear on this little small bottle what it's supposed to do. So if I doubled up on moisturizer, I doubled up. But this was nice. It smelled good. There's just something, there's something about that luxury skincare. They know how to hook me in with that fragrance. I know it's not the greatest for your skin, but it just feels so nice and it smells so good. It's hard. I would not repurchase this. It's not special enough. I didn't see enough improvements on my skin. However, I did enjoy using it when I did. The second one that I have is this Juice Beauty Antioxidant Serum. Meh. 
That's what I have to say about that. I can't say it did anything great for my skin. I didn't notice a difference. I mean, this is small. It's 7.8 ml, 0.26 fluid ounces. So maybe I didn't have it on long enough to notice a difference, but it was very liquidy. I wouldn't, I wouldn't repurchase this. I didn't, I didn't like it at all. And I didn't notice a difference in my skin when using it. It's a very just, it's very thin. It has a very thin viscosity to it. So meh. The last thing I have is this Saturday Skin Yuzu Vitamin C Sleep Mask. I guess I should put this in the with the masks, but too late now. I actually really, really liked this. I like sleeping masks a lot because I feel like I'm getting something extra like you do with a mask. However, I don't have to take it off and remove it. I tend to get a little bit lazy at nighttime, which is when I'm using a mask and this I can actually put on, feel like I'm getting a little something extra extra, but I don't have to remove it later and then do my skincare. So I did really like this. I did notice a difference with brightening and I would actually repurchase this. I liked it a lot. The last skincare category that I have are moisturizers. So I did finish this full size. This is the It Confidence in a Cream. This is for all skin types and it's the anti-aging one transforming moisturizing super cream i use this for a couple days on my face and it broke me out so i ended up using it on my chest here and used it up that way just so it didn't go to waste and for my chest i liked it for my face clearly i did not like it it broke me out however i hear this talked about all the time a lot of people like this and i mean i don't know it just for whatever reason something in this did not agree with my skin Products don't really break me out that easily. That's why I'm able to kind of bounce around and try different things. And this one, for whatever reason, just clogged my pores. It was a little bit too thick. Since I did finish up that It Cosmetics Moisturizer fairly early on in February, I think I finished it within the first week, I got through quite a few other moisturizers as well because I do, I also do all my skincare on my chest. I'm 32 and I am very concerned about just showing aging on my chest. So I do always make sure I put my serums and my moisturizers on my chest as well. So that's why I was able to get through a little bit more of these. I have the Galani La Culture Hydrating Cream. This, this was one fluid ounce. It was quite, it does look small, but it was quite big. And this was okay. Honestly, it kind of just felt like a body cream. I wouldn't say it was a face cream. I didn't know it's anything special with this. I wouldn't repurchase it. I didn't particularly like it. I've used this one before. This is the Key Soul Care Skin Tr Transformation Cream. I liked this a lot. I don't know the price of the full size of this. That would probably sway my opinion if I was going to purchase the full size or not. But... It was okay. It wasn't anything very special. I wouldn't say it was transforming. So average is what I would say. Two left in skincare. So I have the Kate Somerville. This is the Kate Suticles Total Repair Cream. I actually have a full size of this. I really, really enjoy this cream. I like that. I like it a lot. And I like it enough to buy the full size. I am excited to eventually break into that once I finish more of my little tiny moisturizers. And yeah, I have nothing to say. This is really rich. I do feel like it hydrates my skin when I wake up after applying it. I feel like my skin is hydrated. It's ready in the morning and just nothing but good things to say about this. And the last one. So I have a little tiny of the Drunk Elephant Proteiny Polypeptide Cream. I was really excited to get this because I haven't tried this one. I have a full size of the Lula Retro, I think it's called, the one with the purple lid. And I like that one a lot. I'm waiting to break into that. So I really wanted to try this. I'm glad I got a little sample of it because I, my sister really likes this one. So her and I were debating. I was like, you know, I really like the one with the purple top. Like this one's newer. Is this one better? The claims sound better. The description sounds better online. And she was like, this is the one I use. This is the one I like. And I still like the purple one better. This one's just thinner. And 
while it's nice, I, it's almost like, do you prefer a gel or a like thicker moisturizer? And typically I like the gel moisturizers. However, I don't know, for whatever reason, this jelly one just doesn't give me the same results as the Lula Retro. And that's the one I'm going to be sticking with. Okay. And last category is fragrance. This would not be one of my empty videos without a fragrance section of all these little, little vials that I'm trying to get through. Good news is I think I only have like five more of these left. So excited for that. God knows how many are waiting for me in Arizona. However, currently here right now, I think I'm almost done with these. Let's breeze on through them. This is the John Veritos 20 spray, XX. It's either XX or 20, I don't know. Pretty sure this is a men's fragrance. I used it anyways. <laughs> and then I went through all the little vials and took out the men's fragrance and gave them to my boyfriend so I wouldn't have to get through them. He probably won't get the, through them either. He probably will just ignore them. He only wears Dolce Gabbana light blue, so that's his fragrance. He'll probably stick with it. However, they're out of my collection. They're in his hands now. Why did I use this? I don't know, but I did. Next up, we have the Lancome Idel perfume. Idol, do people just call it Idol? It's the French word for Idol. I already own the full size of this. It's not with me, but I do have it. This one is the Christian Dior Vanilla Diorama. I got this when I purchased the Dior Foundation through their website. They sent a little bit of fragrances. I think I have another one. No, I don't. Okay. Oh, no, I don't. No, oh, yes, I do. Haha. I also have the Dior J'adore. This is the Infamissimi. This is another one. I already own this one, the Infamissimi. It's not with me, but I do own it. It smells really nice. It's a little bit softer than the original J'adore. I consider the J'adore to be leaning on the old lady and then the ones that they've released after I have the one back there that's the Lumiere just a little bit lighter fresher less of that older lady scent so the Infamissimi is nice this one going back to is the vanilla Diorama I liked this I want to say that Dior maybe I don't know for sure has two fragrance lines kind of like their mainstream ones that go into department stores and then kind of more their elite line. I want to say that this is one of those like similar to Tom Ford vibes where it's those kinds of fragrances and this was okay. I like vanilla scents. Would I go out of my way to purchase this? Probably not but if I saw it and I was feeling a certain type of way I might. Okay, sorry about that. I noticed that the door was open and it was making a shadow on the back of the wall. So if that was bothering you, I'm sorry. I've closed the door and now that's no longer an issue. The next one I have is the Giorgio Armani C Passion. I really, really like this. This is on my list of fragrances to purchase. It was very nice. The other one that I have is the Valentino Volce Viva. So I did buy that one. It's right here. Oh God. Oh no. Okay. It's right here. Still intact. I am a clumsier person than I'd like to admit. And my dog just opened the door from the shadow. Harris, close the door, please. Okay. This video is starting to turn into a hot mess. I'm going to try and wrap it up here. We have two more to go. So we have the Lolita Lemprica. I don't even remember what this smells like. So clearly I did not like it enough to make a mental note to purchase it. The last one that I have is the Kalali Huda Beauty line. This is in Vanilla 28. I think that says 28. I liked this one a lot, but it wasn't anything that's at the top of my list. Like I wanna buy the C by Giorgio Armani before this one. I think eventually what I'll do is during maybe like a sale or something, I don't know if her fragrances ever go on sale, but maybe I'll buy like three or four of the Kalali fragrances at the same time. I don't know if they sell smaller bottles. I feel like whenever I've looked, they've only had like the three ounce bottles and I would really rather have like a 1.7 fluid ounces or something similar so I could just have a few of them after I find out which ones that I like because I do have another one that's on my list to get. But this was really nice. If you like vanilla scents, this is a solid one.
Okay, and with that, I think I have talked enough. If anything I've learned from creating these videos on YouTube is that I like to talk. I hope that you liked this video. If you like Empty's videos, please give this video a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, I'd love to have you around. Ring the bell so you can be notified when I upload. I do try to upload on Sundays, Tuesdays, and Thursdays. And then leave me a comment below. Just what have you gone through? Are you trying to get through your sample sizes too? I feel like this is not just a me problem. I feel like a lot of people just to feel like they have a lot of different things I am primarily speaking for myself, but I'm hoping and praying that it's not just a me problem, that you like to have a lot of different things to feel like you have a lot, and then it just gets out of hand with the samples, which is why I'm trying to get through these and really just hone down. That was, you know, a mindset that I used to have, and now I want to move forward with that. If you're like that, long story short, please leave me a comment below. How are you dealing with it? Are you just getting rid of all your stuff or are you trying to get through it? And, with, and my dog says it's time to go. So with that, I will see you all in my next video. Bye.